On drop rate is a series where I can only receive an item within its wiki stated rate, but with a twist. If I receive the item before or on its rate, I get to keep everything earned during the episode, including the desired item. However, if I do not end up getting it, I have to forfeit all the loot earned to you guys, the viewers. Let's introduce today's challenge. As is tradition on this series, every 10th episode we are hunting a pet, and this time the pet of choice is the Callisto Cub, obtained from either Arteo or Callisto. However, in this video we will only be fighting Arteo, the single versions of the boss which has a drop rate of 1 in 2800 for the pet. I have only ever defeated Arteo twice on this account, but as I have made an episode on Callisto before and they do share the same collection log, we have some slots already obtained. This will be my gear and inventory setup for this grind, but as always, as I get deeper into the grind, items are subject to change. You actually do need 20 kill count to be able to peek in and see if anyone is in there, so I need 18 more kills before I can do that, so until then, I just have to go in, see if anyone is in here, someone was in this world, and world hop and find another one. We found the world, so let's take this opportunity to talk about the fight, which honestly is a very simple one. Arteo will always walk towards you and eventually hit you with melee, but this is avoided by freezing him. You can use any type of ancient ice spells or entangles on the normal spellbook. When the boss is frozen, Arteo will only range you, so protect the ranged. Occasionally the boss will perform this animation and shoot out a magic projectile. Make sure you protect magic while this hits you, not before, or you will be knocked back for heavy damage. At 66 and 33% health, the boss will spawn bear traps which deals light damage and roots you in place when walked into. When this happens, Arteo also unfreezes himself, so make sure you instantly refreeze the boss when this happens. But that's pretty much it, if you can deal with all these mechanics, you can kill the boss. Man, it's only been 2kc and we already have the first PK attacking me just at the end of a kill as well, so I'm going to have to give up on this kill I think. This is like the worst spot you can be in, Ardeo hitting you with melee, and you can't protect anything else against the player because Ardeo can hit like 40s, it's insane. I think we got away though, the guy didn't follow me, or maybe Ardeo rooted him or something with a trap. This early already, we have a dragon two-handed sword and not a collection log slot, I've got this from various other bosses in the wilderness. That is unfortunately the same drop rate as well as a dragon pickaxe, which is definitely worth quite a lot more though. And we have the first elite of the grind, also on very low KC, 12, it's 1 in 100, and if you actually want to farm these specifically, you can use a ring of wealth imbued and get it down to 1 in 50, so that's a pretty good method of getting them if you really want them. It is not a big milestone, but it is kind of a useful one, because after this one I've done 18 kills, but because I started with 2, we now have 20 overall, you can see that in my chat box, and we can now peek to see if someone is already in, I don't have to kind of crash people when I randomly enter. Yep, that is why it is a very dangerous thing to have Arteo and a PK on you at the same time, especially one with Void Waker. It's pretty hard to defend against both. Because the Arteo lair is above 20 wilderness, I actually lost my Ava's assembler, and I only have like three of them overall in the bank, so I'm going to be just using the normal Ava's accumulator, and if I die and lose it, it's not that big of a deal. And now because we have over 20 KC, we can peek, see if there is activity inside, there is, so now I'll just hop to another world so I don't have to crash anyone. Oh, 60 grimy toad flags for 242k, that is actually a pretty good standard drop value, I'll put the drop rate on screen because I honestly don't know. We finally had a trip where I did not get PK'd a single time, and this has allowed me to see how many kills an hour I can get at highest efficiency, which actually is 50 kills, and let's check the looting bag, 730k, pretty good trip, but that is probably unrealistic, so I'll say I'll get around 40 kills an hour, which means this is going to be roughly a 70 hour grind at max. Wait, hold on a minute here, why am I using prayer pots when they're 9.7k and the blighted super stores 4.9k? I actually thought the blighted super stores would be more like 11k as the normal restores are, but apparently not. Oh, we got the teleport off, this is why we have the Grand Seed pod, such a good instant teleport. Yeah, I do think with all the PKers, 40 kills an hour is the most realistic, because it has been almost two and a half hours now, and we've done 100kc after this one. We haven't really got anything super good or expensive so far except the Toad Flax drop, but 3.6 million so far is not bad anyways. Oh! Oh, what did I get? Oh, the class of Callisto! It is a collection log slot! 
so I'll take it, but ah, oh, that is so rare of an item. It's actually kind of close to the hilt drop, which is worth definitely a lot more than the claws. No way, what? Claws of Callisto again? Man, if imagine if those were hilts, both of them. I would have made like 150 mil by now. Yeah, he got the teleblock on me. I'm pretty dead. This guy has DFS, Dragon Crossbow, Void Waker even. I'm so dead. Down to my last Saradomian brew. I have to run so far to be able to live this. I need to go all the way to the wilderness ditch. No more food left. He has to splash like every single entangle on me now for me to be able to get out of this, I think. No way, he actually kind of splashes everything though. No way I actually got away from that guy. Another dragon two-hander. I guess I'll take it. The money you can get from audio can actually feel a bit RNG because most of your money is going to come from the Void Waker piece, which is kind of a rare one. It's one in 912, but it is worth 70 million GP at the current point. Which, of course, as soon as you get that, you make a bunch of money, but the normal drops are not as good as maybe on the other wilderness bosses. What? What is this? What is this drop? And even an elite clear scroll as well, but just restores, the normal restores and blighted restores. I've never seen that. It was only a matter of time before we got the universal 1 in 400 longbone. Yes, it is not a dragon two-hander this time. A dragon pickaxe. Oh my god, it has dropped so much in value in the recent days or weeks, I guess. Used to be 7 million GP when I did Callisto for another video and now it's 1.5. Man, it feels like I've been here for such a long time because this boss honestly is pretty tedious to kill. It's easy, but it's just annoying, honestly. And there's so many PKs, but that is now 280 kill counts. We've been here for 10% of the grind so far. Unless I get the pet, then I'm done instantly. Oh, I hit 30 million magic experience from just freezing the boss. I guess that's kind of cool. If you're being attacked by a PK, leave the RTO cave and run around these trees right here that are clumped up because I have used this method so many times and people just kind of get stuck on them, they run around, they can't reach you, and eventually you can world hop, it's the best escape in the game. This elite step is the worst you can imagine. You have to craft a full set of Lava Kench tier 2 armor, and you know what? Just because I get this so frequently, I am going to make a bunch of sets, put them in my bank, so I will always have one ready. Oh, this looks so good. Look how many I have. I will have 19 overall sets that I can use. As soon as I get another step like this, I can just take out one of these crates and be done right away. I haven't really been talking about this too much and showing it as well, but there are so incredibly many bots doing the RTO boss right now. I have to world hop for like 5 to 10 minutes sometimes just to find the world, but that is now 500 KC done. And it's been definitely like 15, 16 hours by now. And the worst part is, they're not only occupying worlds, they're also stealing worlds. So sometimes bots come in and they just tag your boss and you can't really do anything. Oh my god, yes, we got the first Void Waker hilt. Also a collection log slot for that one. I think we have everything on the collection log now, except for the pet, so that is really good. I got the Tyrannical Ring a long time ago from normal Callisto, but that is a lot of money. There it is, the first Void Waker hilt for 73 million GP, and it's all for exactly that, with attack 72.2 million. We've made 94.5 million on the tracker so far, that is wild. Now there is a way to deal with these bots if you really want to get them out of your world. The way you have to do it is you have to log an account in their combat range that is Scald, and as soon as you do, they teleport the first tick you enter. And I've had my good friend Saist, another YouTuber as well, have his pure account, as soon as I get crashed, log in and just get them out of there. You thought RTO bot farms were bad? What did I just stumble into? What is going on, man? What the f- <laughs> We are coming up on 800 kill counts. After this one, we have only, you could say, 2000 kill count left to do. The grind is going good so far. Bots are okay, manageable. We're getting them out with a PKing account and um, yeah, it's smooth, 40 kills an hour. Again, the tree escape is coming in clutch. Are we going to outrange another PK? It's... <laughs> Just look at this guy. He can't get to me. It's so easy of an escape. Okay, at this point, 300k is 300k. I'll take this class of Callisto. Third one of the grind so far. Okay, definitely better than the Claws of Callisto drop, and it's actually more common than the Claws of Callisto drop as well, but it seems like it's still going down in price 1.4 million this time. It took us all the way to 906 kill count to actually die the second time in this video, all the way from the beginning of the Void Waker RTO combo guy, so I'll, I'm pretty happy with that. 
The same guy found me after only like 10 more kill count. That seems... Oh my god! Okay, I guess we have three deaths now. I have gained 2,140,000 ranged experience, and that is all it took to get 1,000 KC on this boss for magic logs. I'll take them. That means I'll get like 6 million ranged experience if I go on raids. There has actually just been a game update that has relevant updates to RTO and Callisto, and as I'm doing RTO in this video, I'm mostly going to be talking about the RTO changes. So from now on, you actually need to have completed the Wilderness Medium Diary to even access the bosses Spindle, RTO and Calvarion. This is an obvious change to try to reduce the bots at these places, but uh, I am not entirely sure that this is going to be the solution to that, but I guess when we get into it again, we can see how many bots there are. And the second thing is that both Callisto and Ario should now take damage from magic attacks from any source. So before when I was using Barrage on it, it only froze the boss, did no damage, but uh, now it should be taking some damage, so that's going to be interesting to see how that works out. Let's see if our freezes now deal actual damage, let's give it a shot, and that is an XP drop, so... Yeah, it does, 7 damage, that's really interesting. They have definitely made it way harder to freeze the boss if you do not have magic gear on, however, so I don't know how much of a magic gear switch I have to bring, but look at this, I'm missing every single freeze, this was definitely not the case before. As it turns out, as long as your magic attack is not negative, you will land every single freeze, so this is now my new setup. Let's give it a shot, let's see if the freeze lands every single time. 110 magic XP for a 25, and second one missed, because it was already frozen, I'm dumb. I actually didn't log in right on the update, and I have to say, it's been like 3 hours since it was implemented, and I have seen absolutely zero bots so far. That is insane, I don't know if they're still like re-gearing, rebooting, fixing medium diary before they come back, but this is a good sign. Third D pick of the grind. D pick, that sounds wrong. And a third dragon two-hander. They do have the same drop rate as the D pick, so I guess that makes sense. Okay, again, we have more dragon pickaxes than our dragon two-handers. That's good, that's a good sign. Ah, oh, the dragon two-handers have caught up. Four and four again. Oh, finally, I got the freeze. Please let me just walk under. Don't have flowers. I swear to God, do not have flowers. <laughs> yes, we're getting away. I had like no food left. And there it is. We got away. Since the removal of pretty much every single bot at RDO, I have been getting way more kills an hour. There have been some more PKers, but that is now the halfway point, and we've been here for roughly 35 hours, so it seems like the grind is going to be 70 hours long. This is all the loot we've got so far, only one Void Waker piece, but can't really complain. I should have only got one so far, so that's fair. Oh, I love to see it. Another barrage hit. It takes so long sometimes to get these hits in. And uh, another guy that doesn't have flowers, so good fight. Ooh, second Void Waker. It's going up in price. 75 million almost for the second Void Waker hilt. We are now lucky. I should have had the second one on 1.8k kill count. I'll take it. That's good. This should be very easy to sell, so let's just put it in. Medium price, Insta sold, 73.26 million. I think it's going up in price because they removed so many bots, so it should be less of them coming into the game. Ah, oh, you know what? I don't mind getting another long bone. As long as it's not a curved bone, I'm fine with it. Oh, shit! Oh, my god, I was leaning back. I wasn't expecting anything. This soon, we're risking so much now if I don't get the pet. 300 million on the tracker. Instantly sold this one for 72 million. Let's see the actual value. 71.3. So it is going down again. I wonder why that is. Oh my god. I was gonna stop showing these dragon two-handed swords because I was getting so many of them. But look at this. Two in the same looting bag. I got them within like 10 kill counts. I think it is time for me to update you guys a bit on the loot I've got so far. That is 2,000 kill count for some super compost. This is all the loot that I've got so far. Of course, 306 million GP. And we only have 800 kills left to potentially get the pets. Hopefully I will get it and get to keep all this money. But otherwise, it's going to be a massive giveaway again. Oh, there it is. Finally, the tyrannical ring. It's not worth a lot. 109k. But that is like three times the rate to get that ring. We're almost at 2.1k and the drop rate is 1 in 716. I caught a freeze. 
No way, does he have flowers? I'm Venom though, so I don't know if I have time to log out. I should though, it says 9 seconds, 8, can I get- Oh, I got the log out, no way! Can I survive though? I'm back in again, and no PKs in sight, and the Venom has reset its timer, so I will have time to actually use the pool of refreshment. Can also log out again to reset it if I need to. But that is 8 HP, no food escape, that is insanely lucky. We are really getting close to the end of the grind here, and uh, of course, no pets have been seen during this entire grind. 2,200 KC, 600 more to go. 200 KC later, 2.4k, 400 left to go. It seems like dragon pickaxes are going up in price again, 1.7 million. And the last milestone before we get to the end of the grind, 2,600 KC, 200 left to go, no pet in sight, and we are risking 332 million GP so far, and that is not counting in the elites. Actually, for the last 120 kills roughly I have to do on RTO, I wanna try the new magic setup I've been seeing going around. It is not faster than ranged, so it's not efficient to do this, but it's completely AFK. This is the gear setup I'm going with, and why I have Blood Bark is because it increases your healing with Blood Barrage. Essentially, you just stay in melee range of RTO and pray melee and just spam Blood Barrage. By doing this, you kind of outheal the boss and you also don't have to deal with any of the other abilities. Because when in melee range, the magic attack doesn't happen, and the traps will never really hit you as you're just standing still. Additionally, because I don't have to move at all, I can just be ready to click the teleport as soon as I see someone enter, so dying should never really happen. Oh man, that is not the item we want to see with only 85 kills left to go. It is 123k though. Well, we are down to the last 10 kills of the grind and we have still not seen the pet. Are we actually going to have two massive giveaways back to back? It's surely looking like it. All right, so here we are. This is the final kill of the entire grind. The final RTI I will kill. And the magic is definitely more AFK, but slower. And it's also more expensive as of the rune cost and all that. But that is the last one. No pet has been achieved. And that means we have 26 clue scrolls to open. And probably a bunch of masters as well from that. And we have a massive giveaway to do. So this is now my collection log. We have everything and quite a lot of everything actually. Just missing that pet which unfortunately is the item we wanted. Let's go ahead and speed through the 26 elites we got. And that's the first mimic. 9 overall mimics. They're 1 in 35 from elite so we really did get lucky there. But let's see what we get from this one. A master clue scroll, but uh, only 500 blood runes added. We have the first collection log slot. Afro, not worth a lot, but it's always nice to get collection log slots. And another mimic already. I have a good feeling about this one. Mimic number 10 for the account overall. Let's see what it is. These definitely don't feel like 1 in 35. Third Mimic. Surely third time's the charm, right? Okay, that's a lot of items and another Master, but nothing too great. Okay, we officially have the first Master I can't complete. I need 85 farming for that, and even with a boost, unfortunately, very unrealistic. And let's get the last four open. Let's see if we can get... Oh my god, a Ranger's Tunic for 4 million GP. And there is no collection log slot for this one, by the way. And you guys are going to absolutely hate me for this. If we go here, I have four of them in 184 elites. That is uh, quite incredible. 4 million GP for that. Worth a lot of money. And the last one is done. I will honestly have to say that I'm usually very disappointed with elites, but this time we made a lot of money. 9.14 million from 26 elites. Sure, it was a lot of elites, but it is what it is. They're usually not worth a ton, but let's go over to the masters now. Five of them. Let's see if we can get any mimics or anything crazy like third age or gilded. Doesn't seem like it so far. Ornament kit. First one, 463k for that one, but eh, not a very useful one as I use the Avernic, but that's it. After doing the calculations, the final giveaway is 351.6 million GP. And I will be splitting this into two, just like in the last video when I also lost a massive challenge. So each winner will get 175.8 million GP. If you want to join this giveaway, how you do that is on the screen right now. Good luck to all of you. And of course, here are the trades for the last video's giveaway of the Whisperer. You should definitely go check out that video, by the way, because that video was insane when it comes to RNG. Actually crazier than this one. But until next time, guys, take care.